Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So this is part two of how to turn a boring photo like this one. And this time we're going to do something like this in Photoshop. It's going to be a really a Photoshop tutorial. By the way, if you want to learn Photoshop, I just came up with a new book. I've actually rebranded a book. It's called Photoshop the Easy Way. 160 pages about Photoshop. It's going to blow your mind. It's very visual. It's very easy. I show you how to use like neural filters to turn your photo into a painting, how to colorize a black and white photo, how to retouch the skin in one click. It's crazy. The link is below the video. If you watch a masterclass, stay till the end, you'll get the book for free, the entire digital book for free. It goes for $47. So it's a good deal. Also, I'm going to give you that wall file so you can follow along what we're doing here. All you have to do is sign up uh, to my daily newsletter and you will get the wall file. You're going to love this. Okay, so if you want to watch part one where we got where we made this beautiful black and white version of this photo, click somewhere up there. And for this one, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very small retouching. I'm going to open up the shadows a bit more to have more details in the camel. I'm going to bring down a little bit the highlights. I'm going to do my black and my white and that's it. Nothing very much. Maybe I am actually because I want to turn this into a sunset. So I'm going to actually change the white balance to like shade. Shade is very like sunset and even add even more magenta. It's going to be a very red sunset, but we'll do a little more like that. So it's already giving like a bit of a sunset feeling. All right, let's jump into Photoshop. So right click edit in Photoshop 2022. Now, this is going to be a lot of data about Photoshop, so I'm gonna to try to go slow. So, first thing first, um, if you, once you're into Photoshop, make sure you are into, you go to Windows, Workspace, Photography, okay? This should give you roughly the same windows that I have. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect my background so I can show you the before and after. I'm gonna drag and drop this on the plus, and that's gonna make a copy of the background, simple. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, erase the camel because one mistake I did, two mistake I did is I wanted the camel to look toward the pyramid and he didn't want to. And also I wanted his head to be above uh, in the air. So he really sticks out. It's very important from a composition standpoint. And so I'm going to have to replace uh, the camel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the camel and I'm going to extract him. So let's zoom in on the camel. And I'm going to go to select and I'm going to go to subject and Photoshop is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us, but unfortunately it's not going to do everything for us. So what you can do is you can go here and use a quick select tool sometimes, you know, and just, just click on the legs here to select them a little bit better. We can do that. And um, so I'm holding, uh, basically what I did is I zoomed in by pressing Z. Sorry, I went a little fast here. Z to zoom in, okay? And then W, oops, sorry, not Q, but W to um, take the quick select tool here, uh, the famous quick select tool. And, uh, oops, I made a mistake. So quick select tool is what you're looking for. And then you just click on the plus on the legs and it's gonna select them even more. But on this one, I also wanna select the uh, okay, you see here there's no selection, so you hold on the option key and you do that, and it's going to try to fix the selection for you. And uh, voila, and I'll show you a way to refine that selection, but let's make it as best as, as best as we can for now. Now, when it comes to the bottom part, I want to keep the shadow, I want to keep the shadow that I have because I don't want to have to recreate shadows. I think this shadow here is amazing. So, what I'm going to do, oops. So if you make a mistake, just press Control Z and you can zoom in even more, press W. So to make any tool big or small in Photoshop, you hold down the Control and Option and you click left and right. So I'm going to make it smaller, uh, press minus and voila, I'm going to refine that selection. That's the, pro the time that's going to take the most time is to have a good selection. Uh, but on this one, we because the sun is so random, we don't necessarily need a huge really nice selection. So that's a, a good base selection that I have. Now, I actually want to extend that selection. So I'm going to click here and uh, make a mask. So now you see I have a mask here. 
And I'm going to take that off so you can see what the mask looks like. And the, the top is really well selected. The bottom needs some work, but that's fine. I'm going to press B for brush, make it big. Make sure black is my foreground color. Oh, sorry, that white is my foreground color. So you press D. D is going to make sure that the white is the foreground and black is the background. And then you can press X to go from one to the other. So I'm going to go, I want white. And I'm just going to bring back the shadow, all of the shadow of that. I'm going to make this really big for now. So because you will see uh, we, we're getting a cool result if we're getting that shadow back. I'd rather go big here. So now I have a pretty cool selection of the top. It's the bottom where there were some issues, I I took the selection. So that's good. So now he is selected here. So let me turn this back on and let's turn this back off. Okay. So that's my background and that's my camel. Let's name this camel. Okay. He's now selected on its own thing. If you want to see a layer, by the way, in Photoshop and you want to see only that layer, you hold on the option key and you click on the eye and it's going to isolate that layer and you click again and it's going to take it off. Okay, cool. So now we've got the camel here. I'm going to reduplicate the background because now I want to erase the camel on the photo. Yes, sir. I want to erase the camel. So I'm going to go to select uh, subject to reselect it. And then I'm going to go here to select and I'm going to go to modify expand and I'm going to expand this by about 10 pixel. Okay. It's going to make a bigger selection. Let's even do more. Actually, Let's do 10 pixel again. Expand. So it's just going to make a section bigger uh, than the camel. And then I'm going to press shift tab. Uh, sorry. Then I'm going to press shift delete. And I'm going to choose the option here called content aware and press OK. And then that's when you pray uh, that it's going to do its job. What it does is that it's going to try to recreate the pixel around it. Uh, Command D to undo and pretty good. It did a pretty good job. The key is really to grow the selection. But we're going to refine this even more. So I'm going to go here and take this tool here, which is the famous spot hitting brush tool. And you can make it bigger, bigger and smaller by pressing control and option. And then you can click one time here. You hold on the shift key and you go all the way and I'm erasing that string. And then I'm going to erase that. And um, now I'm going to clean up this whole place. I don't like that sand here. So I'm going to take the famous uh, patch tool. I'm going to make a big selection around that whole area here and I'm going to drag and drop it here. And I'm just mixing the sand and I'm, I'm cleaning up at the same time because it's kind of messy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of um, dirt. And so I'm, well, this one, I can clean up that way, but I, I'm going to focus on the top of the photo because um, I'm going to take the shadow out here because I don't need two shadows and you just clean it up. The thing is that the sand is so random that it's uh, hard for people to see that we did something because sand is very random. Okay. I'm just cleaning this up to make it nice to have a more clean background. You know, when you want to make a photo, oops, here is my, I'm going to erase this guy here. So I took back the spotting brush tool. And it's already looking pretty good. It's already looking pretty good. So now I'm going to bring back the camel. The camel is back. I'm going to go on the camel and I'm going to go to edit, transform, uh, free transform or, or command T or control T on Windows. Okay. And I'm going to make the camel smaller by holding the option key to make it on the center. All right. I, I thought it was a little too big. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to put him here. Right click and flip horizontal, put him here, like looking at the pyramid. Okay. And now we need to blend him in. So I just want to keep the shadow, but I'm going to try to blend him in a little bit. So for that, I'm going to go on the mask. I'm going to take back my brush tool, make sure it's um, black now and it's a hundred percent and make sure that the f right click and make sure the harness is at zero at first. And then I'm going to go here. I just want to keep some of the shadows. Okay. See, now we have a problem is that the sand that's over there, uh, that's something that the sand that's over there, I took some of the big sand. So now it, the sand doesn't match, which is fine. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go ready and refine that selection and create. I wanted to keep the shadow, but it's not working, but we'll recreate the shadow. It's totally fine. So um, what I'm going to do is I have two solutions here. I can bring some of that sand here. Why not uh, to make it match a bit, a bit more? So let's um, go here and then just take a big stem tool, take that sand and bring it where we're, we're putting our little, I just want to make the sand to match a little more here. So stem tool, I, I hold on on the option key. And now let's see here, it should match a little better. Perfect. But I can blend it even more. I can sand is so random that I don't think anybody's going to plus we're, we're going to do some dodging burn and other things. So make sure you're on a mask, uh, black, and I'm just going to blend this even more. I just want to keep the shadow. Really, that's what I want to do is keep the shadows. And then, um, and now what I'm going to do is I want to clean up even more that photo. Um, yeah, let's see here. What can we do to clean it up? Let's go back here. Let's take the patch tool. Maybe take just that and bring it here just to clean that up a little bit. And um, yeah, at this point, I'm kind of happy he's in the right position. I got the shadow and everything. So I'm going to merge this two layer by right clicking and merge the layer. So let's see the before after. So we clean up and we move the position. Now I want to crop this photo a lot. So I'm going to press C for cropping. I'm going to go 16 by nine and a rule of third. I want to go, I want to be like, I want the pyramids to be on my rule of third, like close to one and, and, and also the camel, something like that. Okay, and I just want to really zoom in on the pyramids. This is a 102 million pixel file, so got lots of things going for me. You can maybe see something is weird there, but you can spend more time if you want to blending the sand. You just take some sand here, you blend it, and or if it doesn't work, uh, you can use the stem tool. You can use the stem tool, for example, you press S, big stem tool, and you lower the opacity by 50%, and you take some of that sand and you copy it here. And it's going to sort of blend the sand together, but that's fine because I'm going to make this much darker. So I don't think anybody's going to notice anything here, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to test this photo, but I promise you, nobody's going to see that I did this. Okay. First thing first, before we uh, dodge and burn this photo, I want to change the sky. So let's go to edit sky replacement. And I'm just going to use this guy, which comes with Photoshop. It's one of the default sky Photoshop. If you click on it, you will see it's in spectacular section and it's a spectacular sky. Now, the good thing is that, uh, this, it was a little overcast when I took the photo. So there's not much shadows. You can't really see yeah, There's a bit of shadows there, but it's very light. Um, and this guy was taken when the sun was under. So right now it looks really fake. We need to make, we need to make, uh, this photo much darker because a full round in real life, if you had such a sky, it wouldn't be that bright. So I'm going to go here and first let's make it match in terms of color. So I'm going to go here to photo filter and I'm going to add a, a big full filter. Now you see that filter is right above the camel, right? So it's only influencing the bottom of the photo and it's matching the sky. I can make it even stronger. Okay. Now this, this is good. This is good. And now I'm going to go here again on camel and I'm going to make a curve to make this much darker. Voila. So you see, I'm only influencing the bottom of the photo because you know, if it would be a real sunset, it would be much darker, something like that. You still want to have a bit of shadows because it's, you know, indirect lighting and stuff like that. So something like that. Voila. And then at this point, I want to continue this in Lightroom because I want to do some more dodge and burn in Lightroom to make it even more spectacular. So, Let's go to file and uh, close, save, and that's going to bring it back into Lightroom. Okay. So I'm back in Lightroom. The photo is re-imported. You see, it's still like 10,000 pixels wide. I mean, look how crazy the resolution is. And as I said, you can download the raw file and see for yourself. By the way, if you download the raw file, you can use that raw file. You can change this guy. You can do whatever you want. If you don't have a chance to go to Gero, it's pretty expensive. Uh, you can post it on your social media. Just credit me as the photographer. You're the retoucher. I'm the photographer. So just follow me on Instagram at, at photo surge. And if you want, I can even forward to over 100,000 people 
the photo you retouch. All you have to do is post it as a story and tag me at photo search. You have to follow me and tag me at photo search. Okay, good. So here we are. I'm happy. I'm just going to do a quick dodge and burn. So I'm going to go here. I want to make the sky a bit darker. I want to make this, uh, I'm going to make a linear gradient here. And I'm just going to lower the exposure just to hide even more what we did here. And then go here and here. I would probably spend a bit more time if I was not doing a tutorial, but you get the idea. Uh, that's a general idea. I just find it so fun. Uh, yeah, no, the top. No, 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 it's too strong. Uh, oh, it's just because it's not so strong. It's because I didn't do anything, so I got the red. Yeah, by default, until you move a slider, you get a red that shows you where you're at. And that's pretty much what I want to do. Maybe just lower a little bit of clarity, add a bit of texture, which is like kind of my formula. But uh, here you go, kind of like colorful. Uh, oh, one thing I want to ask you. If you like this kind of content, can you give me a little like? It really helps the algorithm of other people to find out about it. It just takes one second. Just click on the like and you're making my day. Thank you so much. And don't forget to get my book, Photoshop the Easy Way, 160 pages. It's so easy. It's it's project like this uh, that will really help you master Photoshop. Photoshop is so much fun. I'll see you in another video.